Good morning and welcome to Get Ready With Me. Um, my name is Giovanna and I am the founder of Browlex. I'm really excited today to take you through my very quick routine schedule. Um, I'm a very busy person and I really like my daily routine to be as quick as possible. So for me today, I am gonna show you some tips and tricks um, that I use that allow me to feel put together without needing a ton of makeup or taking a lot of time. So let's get started. So I don't typically like to wash my face first thing in the morning. So before I go to bed, I really make sure I give my face a really deep, clean scrub. Um, and the one I like to use right now is called Sukin. And you can get this one from Vita Health. I really like it because um, it's a natural, uh, sulfate and paraben free de detoxifying scrub. It has a blend of kale, spirulina, parsley, and it promotes healthy glowing complexion. So if you want like a really good um, superfood scrub, highly recommend this one. And it smells amazing. I'm actually going to smell it right now because mm, this makes me happy. And it doesn't smell um, chemically in its fragrance. It's a very natural smelling product. So highly recommend that one. Now instead of washing my face first thing in the morning, um, I really like to do a wipe. So it's still slightly exfoliating, but not, um, not crazy in terms of pulling all of those oils and uh, good things off of your face. So what I like to use is the Kaya Naturals, the vitamin cleanse. And this is from Portia Ella. Um, I really, really like this brand. They're cruelty free. There's no alcohol, no, no parabens, no sulfites. So um, they are biodegradable cloths, which is fantastic. So usually in the morning, even though I've washed my face, I tend to still have a bit of mascara um, underneath my eyes, as we all do. Um, so I just like to wipe around to prime my face. Make sure to get all the extra anything off. Oh my gosh, and these smell so good too. Again, not a chemical smell, but very natural. It almost has like a citrusy smell to it. I can't quite pinpoint the smell, but they're bamboo cloths and they have vitamin C, E, B12 in them. Ooh, I really like this. I'll just like sit here rubbing my face all day. How does that sound, guys? <laughs> all right, okay. So it's really important that I prime my face properly before putting any makeup on or anything like that because priming the face allows any makeup to stay on longer and it hydrates your face. I live in Winnipeg, which right now it is very cold, like silly cold and super dry. So I wanna make sure my face has enough moisture in it so that it'll last me all day without feeling like um, my face is gonna fall off. So <laughs> let's get started on what I use for moisturizer. I'm not your typical um, cream moisturizer person. I really enjoy facial oils and I enjoy elixirs. So I'm gonna show you what I use. Um, to start, I'm going to spray my face with this Huna Apothecary Botanical Face Mist with rose, aloe, and watermelon. I really like it. It is a um, Winnipeg brand, so always like to support local. Canadian brand. Mm, smells so good, that watermelon seed. Mm, I love it. It's just a really great way to put some moisture in your face. The next thing I love is the Ohm Organics. Uh, it's the age-defying elixir, so it looks like this. And this is also from Portia Ella. Um, it's a Canadian, um, it's almost like a Sephora, but for organic natural products. So what I love about the Age Defying Elixir is that I can mix it in with any facial oil and it's going to give me like a, almost like a cream consistency and it'll take those facial oils even deeper into my skin. So right now I love The Ordinary DCM. I'm using a plant-derived squalene. I love caffeine solution around my eyes. It just gives them a nice little boost. And we also have another um, 
local maker called Sweet Spirit Apothecary, and it's all natural, and I'm using the Immortel. Um, it's kind of like a balm texture, but still has natural oils in it, so I'm gonna mix that in with my uh, elixir. So, here we go. <laughs> so I just take a little spoonful, I put the squalene in it, and this has moisture, and I mix those two together. Oh, sorry, I brought one thing. Little glow, because again, it's really dry outside. I like to have a little glow. I love using the Graydon Skincare um, Face Glow. It's a tinted primer and illuminator. And I find that it's a little dry on its own, but when I mix it in with um, either a moisturizer or my little concoction here, it just gives this most beautiful color and brightness to my face. Now I'm going through, because it's a little dry, I'm going through a bit of an acneic stage in the winter right now where my face tends to get a little bit of congestion because there's so much dry skin. And I'm a picker, which please don't do as I do, just leave him alone. <laughs> so I have to try to moisturize to take away all that dry skin and really work in my face. Work all of this into my face and my neck. Don't forget your neck. Perfect, okay. So see that little glow you get on the skin? It's really nice. Now I'm gonna take the Immortel, and this actually has like real 24 karat gold in it, and it's just very luxurious, and it, you don't wanna to use too much because it can get quite oily on the face, but you have to kind of apply it right after, um, or else you might get too much shine on the face. And just a little bit at a time, work it up. And I like it on my lips too. Like I said, I put a lot of facial products on my face to prime my face. It just feels so much better and I feel like I have to wear less makeup if I do so. Okay, so now I'm taking that caffeine solution. Just need the smallest little drop from DCM The Ordinary. And then I like to just dab it under my eye. Under eyes are a little bit more sensitive, so you don't wanna be like rubbing and scrubbing as, you know, around the area. You just kinda of wanna dab and apply the product until it's completely worked in. Perfect. So now that my face is primed, I'm gonna take you guys through my makeup routine. So, um, usually I have my brows laminated and um, lamination is basically like a little perm for your brow area. Um, but since mine are kind of like at the end and it's, I'm due for another one, um, I actually use organic soap to set my brows and then I use our Browlix pencil to fill it in, which I should have right here. So I use the color coffee. I kind of go between coffee and ash, just depending on my hair color. If I'm more blonde, I tend to go more ashy. Now that I'm a bit darker, I am coffee. So I'm gonna fluff my brows up first, and then I'm going to add in the brow mix pencil. So I just take like an organic soap, and I actually take the Huna spray again, and I just spray it on the soap, and I just rub it in enough to get like a bit of a, a paste going. You don't want it to be too wet or too dry. You have to find that perfect consistency. And then I'm just gonna start fluffing and working my brows upwards in the opposite direction. Just to get all those hairs a, a lot more fluffy. And then when you feel like you fluff them up enough, I like to just brush them down and into place. The other thing is on the Browlix pencil, it has a thinner spoolie. So sometimes it just is a nicer finish when you go through it with a smaller spoolie. The difference. Okay, the other side.
Now I don't like a lot of product because I have a lot of brow hair already, as you can see. So I just want to fill in the areas for myself that are a little bit sparser, which is on the underside. So I want to kind of build that up. And I always start with the brows, no matter what, because the brows frame your face and everything else kind of comes into play as soon as you shape your brows. So uh, using the Browlix pencil, there's kind of a prism shape or a triangular shape to it. There's a pointy side to create natural hair strokes and then a thicker side to fill in. And then if you kind of put it on its side, I get a really good angle in creating um, a more defined line across the bottom of my brow. So I'm gonna use the pointed side to just fill in the fronts wherever I'm sparse. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the side to come through. And I'm not pressing very hard. I just like to gently build it up because this pencil is a lot harder, so you don't need to push very hard for a lot of product. And especially because you have that wax, well, I have the wax in my brow. Um, if you press too hard, sometimes it'll attach to the wax or move the hairs out of the way. So softer and slow strokes are much better than harder. one. You can see I have a little area here that's a little bit sparse, so I'm working up with the flow of the hair and the direction that the hair is going. And if I want to create a fine line, just go So now that the brows are done, I like to conceal. Um, I find that uh, doing a concealer and foundation can tend to be a little bit heavy uh, throughout the day, so I don't like to put a lot on. So what I do is, again, using the Huna Apothecary, it's it's because I'm too lazy to go wet my sponge, um, but it also is, you can use it as a setting spray as well. I'm just gonna hydrate my sponge and I like to use the ordinary lightweight uh, foundation um, I am the color 20p light medium um, I love it because it is such a buildable foundation um, and it doesn't feel cakey whatsoever so that is the ordinary I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I kind of just dab it into my hand first just so that I work it into the sponge and starting from like the midsection of my face I just want to start building it you don't want to start putting lots of foundation underneath your eyes right away because it can tend to be really cakey so I use the midsection as a good starting point and kind of pull out And I always do foundation first because sometimes we think we need to conceal first, but foundation might be enough. So when I foundation first, that allows me to really see how much coverage this gives me and then conceal the areas that I need to that are a little bit darker. Again, my whole thing, and I used to be a makeup artist and I was somebody who spent two hours on her face every morning um, before I went to work because I did work for MAC Cosmetics and uh, caked it on and I love the artistry behind it but now for me at this stage in my life like quick easy efficient and looking super natural 
is the best look for me. Um, I love adding a little bit more if I'm going out or doing um, an evening look or a party look. Um, I'll definitely take more time and go a little bit crazier with it, but uh, for every day, I really like to feel like me. So that is my first layer of foundation. Um, I might just need to put a little bit more on the ends here. Make sure to go down into your neck if you can. And try to blend it into your hairline. Cool. So now my favorite concealer is the Hourglass. I am the shade Linen and again I don't really like to put it straight onto my face so I just take my sponge and apply a little bit on my sponge and go underneath my eyes. And conceal any areas that are a bit darker that we want to brighten up. Really, um, outside of the nose, under the eyes, around the lips here, those are like your target areas to make your face look brighter, more awake, and more even because those are the areas that tend to get a lot of shadow or redness. So you want to really focus on those areas if you can. Now I like to use a little concealer on my eyelids because I use that as a bit of a primer slash uh, foundation for any eyeshadow if I'm going to wear any. And I'll put a little on for you guys today because I'm fancy like that, so. People, so blend, 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 blend. You don't want to see any lines of demarcation. You don't want to see any colors that are uneven. Cool. So now we are going to lock that in and a powder is a really great way to do this and building that powder up slowly is so so important. Um, so I instead of using my beauty blender to like bake it in because I do like a bit of a more of a glowy look to my face. I just take the MAC brush uh, 180. I love this one. It's very fluffy. Um, and I love the Laura Mercier, the translucent powder. I don't know, it's yeah, the loose powder translucent. Um, and I really wanna take off the excess as much as possible. Okay. And then I just gently wanna swoop away from the eye. And start just gently layering this on. And it doesn't take away all the shine, it, it just mattifies it enough so you don't look crazy. Perfect. That's all I need, very quick. Now to get some color back into my face, um, I really love using Elite Cosmetics. Um, I find that it's such a great product and it's organic and I feel like it has a beautiful um, way that it sits on the face. So I just like to actually use, um, you know, their uh, different, facial powder colors as a contour. Um, and sometimes even I use a, um, oh my God, I'm totally blanking here right now. I, I use an eyeshadow sometimes as a contour as well. All right, perfect. So I like to go with my contour just under the cheekbone. And again, everything you do should be light pressure. Super light, building it up, feather, strokes. Building it up slowly, giving yourself some nice dimension. So 
So I go right under my cheekbones and I kind of blend it inwards. Just two swoops down my nose. I like to do a little right in the crease. It helps create some depth right in there. I obviously do my forehead and blend it in downward. We can take another one that doesn't have any product on it and continue to blend. Just taking more translucent powder. So now I look like I got a little glow on, right? Awesome. Okay, so. Since doing that, we want to fix our brows a little bit. Perfect. Now we need a little blush. Same thing, LA Cosmetics. And I like to smile and just start from the bottom of my cheek bone here and brush up. Again, with blush, you have to be very gentle with it because it's such a bright color. You want to make sure that you just put a little swoop of it on or else your face can end up looking quite red. Okay, now we're going to do a bit of um, eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take a lighter color and I'm going to use a flat brush. This one is MAC, but I can't read <laughs> the number on it. It's a flat brush. Just a little highlight color. I just like to put it in the crease and underneath here. Now we're going to take a little bit of a matte brown. And just rock back and forth. You can just pull the excess underneath if you want to. I just keep it really simple. I want it to still feel like me, but just giving myself a little extra um. Perfect. Now I am going to highlight my face. And I have this highlighter right now called Soft and Gentle from MAC. Um, sometimes I like to use the Stila or Elite Cosmetics, uh, whatever highlight you have, I just kind of put it above the cheekbone where it protrudes and I just gently layer it on. A little bit on the top of the cupid's bow, on the top of the nose. Now, before I put my mascara on, I just want to set this with a bit of a setting spray. Again, Queen Apothecary. You can use any setting spray. Another one I like to use is the All Nighter uh, by Urban Decay. I really like that one. It actually makes your makeup stay a long time. Um, so really, I have a few um, different types of makeup that I like to use, and it kind of varies between organic and stuff that works really well. So you got to find a balance that works for you. Um, okay. And when you have a lot of powders on your face, you want to hydrate them so that they sit and absorb a little bit into your face so that they stay all day long. So let that naturally sit in. Don't try to press it in or do anything like that. Um, if I was going to put on eyeliner, I really love the Stila All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. It has this awesome felt tip that makes wings look really good. 
it's Monday, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go straight to mascara. So we're gonna go telescopic, carbon black. This is my go-to, I love it. Obviously besides this love of my life. Um, so I use the carbon black color. Um, I love the brush on it because you can really get in there and lift your lashes. I do about two, maybe two passes of mascara. Just make sure to start from the bottom, hold it there for a second, and then shake it up. And that'll really help to pop the mascara up without needing to use um, a curler. A lot of people ask me about my mascara, so this is my secret weapon. I've tried other ones, nothing's ever compared back to this one. So I feel like when you buy mascara and you find one that's really good, you're always gonna be disappointed if you go try something else. So if anyone has any suggestions, that's great, but I promise you this mascara is like life. And then I just come back and do like quick little adjustments on this side as it's starting to dry. I don't go in for more product, I just work what's on there. And same thing here. You gotta get the product on and slightly drying so that you can pop it up. Beauty. Now, instead of going like this with my mascara, I like to use the very tip and just run it across because I don't like a heavy bottom lash. I just wanna have enough to define the lashes that are there. And this helps to keep them in their places and look kind of spidery, like so. Okay. Last step is lips. I'm gonna take a sip of my tea before we go into lips. Again, I'm a pretty, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> yeah, the tea went down the wrong pipe there. I'm a pretty natural girl when it comes to lips. So this one is Smashbox. I really like the Work It. I work in just a tiny bit of color um, that's closest to my natural lip shade. And then I love the Danielle Kinnison, Kun I can't say this, uh, for Radford. So Radford is an awesome brand, um, shade Nude, because again, nude is life, natural is life for me. And then I just take, take off a little of the excess because sometimes it can be a little bit much. And I just dab. Mostly in the midsection because I want that to be a little pouty. There we go. Very quick, very standard makeup. And then I will go brush my hair. And that is my look. Yeah, hair needs to get done, so. I'll go do my hair and that is my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to us and uh, yeah, make sure to try this Brillux pencil and see how you like using a bit of a wax or a gel first before you put this on and uh, enjoy. Have a great day.